Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. A quick tutorial on how to remove the tripod from a 360 image. To do this we'll be using the GIMP which is free and open source and is a really really great bit of kit and it can be downloaded from www.gimp.org. Okay, so once that's downloaded and installed, let's fire it up. So, here we have a, a uh, 360 video. As you can see, we've got the tripod down the bottom. So, to, rem to remove that, we need to get it into a slightly easier image to work with. So, let's go filters, let's go distorts, let's go polar coordinates. So, what we're doing is we are changing that image into polar coordinates. One issue we have is that the tripod is now smeared on the outer edge of the circle. To fix that, just click and disable map from top, which will then map it from the bottom. And as you can see, right smack bang in the middle, we have our tripod. So let's zoom in. Let's go to 100%. And here we go. So. How do we get rid of this? Well, there's multiple ways, but probably the easiest way is to use the clone tool. Clone tool looks like that. Uh, now, if it's not there, sometimes you might be using a heel tool, and so it won't actually be there. So you just simply right click and get to the clone tool. To use the clone tool, we set a source. As you can see where my mouse is, there's a circle. So we need to set that as a source. If you want to change the size of the source, you just change that there. So let's go to, I don't know, about, about that should be good. And let's select hard edge, okay? right here. So let's select the source. So you select the source as close as you can to where you want to clone out. So I hold control, left mouse button. That now selects that as the source. So now when I click there, it just makes things disappear and we just drag across let's select another source from down here and same thing again we just drag across whoops until it looks nice now so it looks a bit funky over there so let's select the source there and there we go so we have quickly and easily removed the tripod. So let's zoom out a little bit. So let's go to 25%. And what we could do now, if we wanted, if you wanted to perhaps um, add like a logo or some text. So adding a logo, you would just add a uh, image there. So what we'll do is let's add a bit of text so let's click there and let's go copyright L Bannister okay now what will happen is if this isn't very central it may sort of get a bit bent and a bit warped so we want to you know right down the bottom well you don't necessarily want right down the bottom to do that we need the alignment tool now usually by default it'll be set to the move tool so again we right click select the line click there you can see that all four corners have been selected and align relative to image and we want to center on the horizontal and center on the vertical okay now this is the important step we need to go from this back to our original rectangular projection. But we need to merge the text into the image. So I right click and go merge down and that now combines that. So now when we go filters, and so I could just go reshow polar coordinates, but let's do it the hard way. Distorts, 
polar coordinates. One thing you're going to notice is that it gets mangled and the reason for that is we are taking something already in polar coordinates and making it and then taking that and rendering that to polar coordinates. So all we do is uncheck to polar and again remember how it started off um, up, we made it upside down to get the tripod off so we just need to deselect map from top and here you could just um, click OK but we'll just wait for it to render just to make sure it looks like it should. Yes, that looks like it should. So now we click OK and that is now finalized and we have now successfully removed not only the tripod but added a little bit of text. And bear in mind that text could have also been a logo. So hope this has been informative.